Hello everyone, this is Direwolf20, and welcome to episode 33 of Direwolf20's Let's Play series. Uh, today's plan, kickstarting into mechanism. Uh, now, the good news is that I'm pretty sure a majority of the stuff in here has an EMC value to it. So I'm going to try to, you know, we've done mechanism a lot of times, it's a great mod, but I want to try and, you know, keep it different and interesting for you viewers who've seen mechanism like a million times. So uh, I'm gonna try and do everything with EMC as much as I can to try and blast through mechanism as quickly as possible to get to the point where I can build a fission reactor so that I can get my polonium that I'm gonna need for the polonium pellets. Now the good news is, is I only need three polonium to make a singularity. That's actually really good news because polonium takes a while to get. I mean, not, not terribly long, but like, if it was like a thousand polonium, it would be very painful, right? So the fact that they made it only three is pretty awesome. Um, so that's our plan, right? We're gonna we're gonna kick that thing into gear. So let's let's look into that a little bit today. So right now I've got some things that I'm gonna I'm gonna teach you how to make. So I've got the basic, I've got the elite, and I've got the ultimate tier installer, and I've also got some energy upgrades. Though I don't see any speed upgrades, but I'm sure I can get them. And I've got atomic alloys, which also have EMC. So I just taught them all to my EMC tablet so that we can make more of them. I just basically did an at mechanism to see what I had. I'm assuming most of the stuff I had gotten, you know, over the course of, you know, just, just, just stuff. So the only other tier installer that we need is the advanced. So what I'm thinking is I can get my metallurgic infuser, which also has an EMC value, learned. Uh, and we can quickly and easily make some basic mechanism stuff. I'm not gonna automate the whole thing with crafting. I'm just gonna place it down, manually make one item, teach the EMC tablet, and then be able to have unlimited amounts of that item. And then we don't have to mess with it anymore, right? Um, just, you know, a different approach. So that should be cool, right? So for example, I'm gonna load this guy up into the network. I'm gonna get myself a tier installer. So from let's let's real quick look at what we don't have from mechanism that are core components, right? So I'm gonna need, each of the circuits, because I don't see any of those in there. And I'm gonna need each of the alloys except for atomic, okay? Which I, you know, already had from probably a loot B or something along those lines. So um, we're gonna need some redstone and we're gonna need some osmium and we're gonna need some iron. You know, realistically, we should only need one of these. So let's start with uh, a couple redstone. I'm gonna throw two in there. And then I'm also going to do this. Cool. So infused alloy and basic circuit, right? And then I can I can do this and get a stack, right? And then I can do this and get a stack. Cool. And then I can use that to get the next tier of this guy. And then I can use that to get a stack. Cool, right? And then I can get this. So we're gonna need the, and that's, I think, at least two diamond, maybe? So if I put this in here and we did one, I thought you could accept diamonds. Can you not accept diamonds? Do you need to be diamond dust? You might need to be diamond dust or something like that. I could probably throw them in here. I'm guessing that'll make diamond dust. Perfect. Okay. Boom. And then this. Cool. Easy, right? Easy peasy. And now we've got, you know, all the all all the components of what we would need to make what we need to make. Right, so I'm gonna put away some of the junk that I have in my inventory real quick because I need to I need to have a cleaner inventory uh, in order to handle all this stuff we're about to do. I really don't need half this stuff. Yep, you can go away. Uh, I don't need this lava sigil at the moment, and then you can be turned off for the time being. We'll probably be doing some laser IO stuff in a bit. Um, so that covers all that. Now I should be able to make an advanced tier installer nice and easily, and that's this guy. So now if I said give me a bunch of tier installers, I can get a stack of each. That is cool. And I might've gotten two stacks of one because there's something in this pack that is causing single left clicks to count double occasionally. 
and I've yet to figure out what's doing it. So that's all done and covered, right? So now we can easily tier install and upgrade our things, right? Now the, the other stuff that we're gonna need for mechanism, the general thing that we need for machines is going to be, um, let's see, we need, generally speaking, steel casings, which do have an EMC value. We have no steel ingots. Um, so that can be made, can I make that with the coal thing in the metallurgic infuser? I'm not seeing it, right? I'm not seeing a metallurgic infuser recipe for steel. Interesting. Well, we can do an induction smelter with iron ingots and coal coke. Do I have to go the whole coal coke line to get steel? Molten steel can come from You gonna make me make coal coke real quick? I think you are. Is there no other steel? Mechanism just double checking. Steel casing. There's only immersive engineering stealing it. I don't see it rotating or flashing in there at all. Um, yeah, I think we're making cold coke real fast. Because it's that or the blast furnace. I'd have to whip up a blast furnace real quick. Which is also doable. But I think blast furnace requires cold coke, doesn't it? So how about we do the um, induction smelter with coal coke. Now, can I get cold coke from thermal? Am I doing cold coke in my pyrolyzer? I might be. I might be. Aren't I already getting cold coke? Oh, I am. Good. So we don't have to do that. Nice. Um, induction smelter. Do we have one of those? Did I ever make an induction smelter? I have a few thermal machines, but I don't know if an induction smelter is one of them. That's all right. We can get one real fast. I'm going to need a couple Envar gears and a machine frame. and a blast furnace and why don't i make sure that this stuff is all taught to my table so that we're ready to get lots of it if i need to make more for whatever reason cool and then for example i can get lots of these for future crafting needs and then we don't have to make those no more right should be good. And while I'm here, might as well, right? Okay. So now if I want a induction smelter, easy peasy. And then I can get some iron. And just in case I ever have to make more of these. Cool. Now this will take a while. And unfortunately, not super easy to tick accelerate. Because when you tick accelerate it... Oh, actually, no. It's working out fine. Great. All right, cool. Well, in that case, we should be good. And then we can teach you the coal or the steel, get a bunch of it. Oh, I didn't want to do that. Why did you do that? None of that was supposed to happen. It's okay. And now we can make our mechanism machine frame thing. Casing, right? Is what it's called. Yeah, there we go. Get two stacks. Good to go. Nice. I may not need this anymore, but we'll see. I'm pretty sure we're done with this guy, though. I don't think there's anything else the metallurgic infuser can really make. So I think we're cool. So now that we've got all this stuff covered, let's go ahead and start making the things that we're going to need for a uh, reactor, right? So for mechanism, um, there's the reactor glass, which needs enriched iron which is coal and iron. Well, there you go. We do need some more of that. You know what I'm going to also do is get some speed upgrades from mechanism because I've already got, uh, so that just needs some osmium dust. I've already got the energy upgrade in EMC form. So by doing this, I've now got, you know, unlimited of those, which is cool. 
All right, enriched iron, just in case I need more of it. But we'll see, I'm not sure if I will. Cool. So now I can get uh, reactor glass, fission reactor casings, fission reactor ports, reactor logic dude, and that's probably it. And then there's also, what are we looking at here? Uh, reactor casing, reactor glass, reactor port, logic adapter. So we got all those going. And then we need fission fuel assemblies and control rods. Um, so fission fuel assemblies and control rods. Okay. And then these can all be done and done. Cool? I like it. So now I'm going to go build, uh, you know, a reasonably big reactor. And it should be pretty cool, right? All right, I like this. And real quick, I want to do a little something. Uh, come here, transmutation tablet. Let's get some red matter. And let's target a transmutation tablet. That was not nearly enough, was it? So how about I get one of these? <laughs> That's a lot. <laughs> I think that covers it. <laughs> uh, I think that covers it. All right, we're good on transmutation tablets for a, for a minute. For a minute at least. I break you? Yeah. That'll do. Now I have access to a transmutation tablet whenever I need one. <laughs> oh, that was funny. All right, so what I'm going to do is I want to go deep in here. Now, I could do this in a compact machine, but I want probably a bigger reactor than a compact machine can can fit. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go deep into one of these tunnels uh, and then and then probably just, just mine out. You know, this should be far enough away from my base that in case we have any reactor accidents, which Dyer is prone to have, uh, in case we have any, I should be able to handle it, right? So let's get a, a Flareal Fair Lamp, Feral Flare Lantern, words I can say. Cool. All right. And we want to make sure that this is deep enough to cover all of our needs. That looks cool. And I might want this actually to be a little bit taller. So let's be prepared to do that. Does this look cool? Yeah. Just make sure your angle's correct because I'm 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 kind of saving this thing as my generic room size. So I'll come back once I've finished clearing this realm out. Now the other thing I did is I brought with me uh, some of this and some of this fission reactor. Nice. So now I can pop home and then dial up fission reactor. And we're good to go, right? Ah, that's cool. Perfect. I like this. This room looks this room looks adequately sized. If I need it to be bigger, I can make it bigger. I just made it, you know, big because I wasn't quite sure what I was going to do. So now let me uh, build the reactor itself. So the max size reactor can be 18 by 18 by 18. I don't see any reason not to do it that size. I mean, resources aren't a problem, right? So should I just do that? Okay. So I'm probably gonna need a larger room. <laughs> because this is an 18 by 18 floor. So this is how big my reactor is gonna be. I may not make it 18 tall. I'll probably just go to a reasonable height of this room, but I don't feel like digging out the ceiling anymore. But well, yeah, it's a big, uh, big reactor. It's gonna be big, but why not, right? All right, just rearranged things a little bit, made a bigger space for myself uh, so that things could be more aligned to chunks. For a moment, I considered making this 16 by 16 um, so that we could keep it within a single chunk, but meh, meh, let's just go, let's just go for broke. Uh, I'm not going to worry about it too much. So uh, speaking of that tablet, I'm definitely going to need one over here. Uh, because I'm going to need more stuff if I'm going to go with this big of a thing, right? Uh, so fission reactor casings, just get a whole bunch of them. And then uh, I can use my building gadget, which I may have put away. 
That should be cool. And you can go away for a minute. Uh, are you still in build to me mode? Or did I have another gadget? No, I did have another gadget. Oh, there it is. Found it. So I don't know how tall this is, but we're just going to go this tall, I guess. That seems cool. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Sixteen tall? That should be fine. That should be fine. I mean, we could do seventeen tall. Technically, eighteen tall would fit in here. And that would be the max max size. Um, my feral flare lanterns are kind of in the way if I want to go that tall. So let's just go 17. Let's just go 17 tall. It's one block difference. It's not going to make, you know, or break the deal. So basically up to the ceiling, but not at the ceiling is where we're going to want to be. Cool. Now, are you actually in the way still, Feral Flare Lantern? You kind of are. You kind of are-ish. But I think, I think you'll fit. All right, that works for me, right? Uh, now, the roof, generally speaking, uh, we're going to want to alternate and checkerboard things and I think I can do that with building gadgets Let's see if I'm correct about that now if I do this will that be too close yes let's just go like this that should be cool build to me all the way across the top now do I have an exchanging gadget that I can use I do cool now let's put remember every in a checkerboard pattern we're going to want the control rod assemblies or the fission fuel assemblies control rod right that's what goes in the top here when does that look upside down ish or something weird that doesn't look right eh, maybe that is right control rod assembly in the top all right so now i should be able to grid this if I go range three and we do that, are you gonna, are you gonna let me exchange these guys? Can you not exchange with these? Maybe because they're tile entities? Nah, that's a bummer. That's a bummer. All right, I'm gonna have to do that manually, I guess. Um, I feel like walking along the roof of this would be easier. How about I shrink myself? Do I have a shrink doohickey? Why do you only want to open the UI? There we go. All right, let me do this bit off camera because this is going to be a little tedious and I'll be right back. I can't believe this isn't working. Killing me, Smalls. But I actually changed it up and decided to go 17 by 17. So I, I, I truncated it by, well, that's 17 by 18. I need to truncate this side too. Um, yeah, let me take care of that real fast. So basically, I'm going to want you to be to here because uh realizing a checkerboard pattern ain't gonna look too good with an 18 range right like that's just not gonna work all right so 17 by 17 now the building gadget has a grid mode so can i potentially pull this off if i brought the range down how do you work it's a good question. I see. Okay. So if we put you place on top. That's pretty close, actually. So what I could do is aim for something like this. So if I place on top to U, so let's make it so that the, we have that. Okay. 
And then I got a control rod assembly. Placed it like that. That's cool, right? I feel like I'm gonna need more control rod assemblies. Okay, now you need to go here, and you need to go here. And that should be a checkerboard pattern. And now I just clear out the excess. Back in a sec. And now I'm just building out all the control rod fission fuel assembly bits. So again, back in a sec, once complete. See, that works pretty well. Next, we're gonna have to figure out how to fill this thing up with water, which does not sound like a fun time to me. Not at all. I have no idea how I'm gonna do that. I have zero plans for that. I have not figured that part out yet. But, I mean, this looks pretty good, right? I like this. I like this a lot, actually. Yeah. All right. And now we just need the glass to go in there, right? Actually, I've got some in here. And that should be, I don't need these lines anymore. Back in a few. You know, it occurs to me, I think I made the same mistake in ATM7. You don't put the control rod assemblies in the roof, you put them one block below the roof. So I just cleared off that top layer. I'm now gonna use surface mode to place control block assemblies on top of all of these dudes. And that should be pretty cool. Let's make sure I think I missed this corner back here. And that should be good. Excellent. And now I can build me Oops, now I want you in build to me mode. There we go. Cool. You know, now if I wanted to, I could just uh, surface mode this thing. Because then I don't have to be as exact with my clicks. Nice. All right, now we should be in better business. Hooray! Nice. <laughs> oh my goodness, look at the size of this thing. Okay, so you're going to need to, um, you're going to have to have uh, fuel in, waste out. Um, I might I might do waste processing over here. So I'll probably have waste out here and then we'll have steam out up top and we'll have a big steam turbine dude over there. Does that sound cool? And then uh, we're gonna want like a massive amount of water going in. Hey, thank you. Uh, now, do we have a configurator for mechanism? We may not, but I'm gonna get one. Shouldn't be too hard to make, given my EMC of all the things. Output waste, output coolant, input only. Okay, now I don't think we have a sink in this pack, right? We do not have a sink. So I'm going to need to find a way to get a stupid amount of water. Because this is going to take a lot of water. So what are the chances I can just right click on this guy and he'll fill up with water? I guess not. Hmm. How about I got a tank? right but not just any tank like one of these that then gets upgraded 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 and i assume that this is emcable yeah i really don't have a good plan for this i'm i'm being completely honest when i say that i have no idea how i'm going to make this much water 
So right-clicking that filled the whole thing all in one shot. That's kind of cool. That's kind of cool. Now here's a question. Can I void you? I think I can void you, right? All right, well, let's do this. Let's do laser IO, node overclockers, lots of overclockers. Get this guy ready to go. So on the down, let's get you extracting as fast as possible. And then on the south side can be an insert. Okay, now if I put you in here, oh, now that's a thing. Now that's a thing. That's infinite water, right? Now you're not filling up nearly fast enough, but don't forget we can make this even faster, right? So on the down, let's get eight node overclockers here. And basically what we're going to do is set you to extract. Set you to extract. By the time I do all nine, I will have the pattern down, I promise. There we go. Wow, you are draining faster than the Evertide Amulet can fill. By one, by one, the very last one is too much for him. So if I had you have seven, you'll fill back up. If I have you have eight, you'll break even? Yes, okay. Well, I mean, that's not bad, right? It's not bad. That's gonna fill pretty quickly, to be fair. I mean, we're already at what, 20%? That is not terrible. Do I want a second one or is one of these enough? I feel like a second one's not a bad idea, right? Did I teach you Evertide Amulets? Do Evertide Amulets have an EMC value? That's an exceptional question. They do. Okay, boom. Uh, and then get me some Ultimate Fluid Tanks, another one. And another Evertide. Right? Cool. Now, don't forget that I could totally, if I wanted to, this work or no? No. Oh. Weirdly, it doesn't seem like it doesn't seem like that's a good thing to do. Interesting. Now, why am I like smaller? I thought I ended my personal shrinking. That's interesting, right? Isn't that weird? Oh, because it puts it to the output slot? Why did you move to the output slot when I take accelerated you? I don't know. That's actually very weird to me. It's like he finished draining or something. Okay, so let me just make another one of these then. Uh, so what we'll want is another one of these. And you did it again. Why did you do it again? I don't like that. What if I put this in here? Would that be cool? And now you can't go to the output slot? Let's see what happens if I do this. Yes, now he can't go to the output slot. Okay, that works for me. So let me have two Evertide amulets then. Because um, I don't ever want there to be a situation where, for whatever reason, I don't know why it's going to the output slot, but I don't want that to ever happen. That's a bad thing to let happen. Because if that happens, 
when I'm not looking and the reactor overheats, bad times for everyone involved, right? So let me do this again on this one and then we'll be right back. I am struggling to understand why, but the second of these is not working. Like it's just it's just not. Yeah, no, that's cool. Uh oh, it's stone on me. And I put what? This was working a minute ago. I don't understand. Something wrong with this fluid tank? Uh, inventory, yes. I don't know. Get a new one? Is it cause, is there something wrong with the fluid tank? Oh, now, we're, now it's working. Okay, that's working better now. Okay, cool. And if I put you, um, now, if, now what I want to do is if I... I want to put you on the south. I want to get you running again. And now you're both going? Good. Okay. I don't know what that was about. Now, if I overclock this, this one dies out, but then I can put one back in. So now that both slots are full, and now you're filling nice and fast. Cool. I like this. This should work. All right. There's your infinite water. I figured it out. I knew I'd figure it out. All right. So I think we'll wrap up here. Let's come back next episode. Um, two things we need to do. One, we need to handle uh, making fissile fuel, which most all of the ingredients for fissile fuel, yellow cake uranium has EMC, fluoride has EMC, sulfur dust has EMC. So we're going to EMC those guys um, and probably tick accelerate the machines that are going to make them. Cool. Then uh, we need to build a nice big turbine, which I'll build over here. And uh, then we'll need to handle some processing of the waste, right? So I'll make you the output of waste. Um, and then we'll have a, a coolant output somewhere nearby. Uh, that would be cool, I think. Uh, I don't know exactly where I want it to be, but probably up high. And we may need more than one of these uh, coolant outputs. And that should be cool, right? All right, for now, Donald, I sign off. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. I think this will be neat to see this giant reactor running and how fast and how hot we can get it. I'm not going to tick accelerate it because I feel like tick accelerating a big reactor like this would be a very bad idea. But remember, you don't really need to tick accelerate it. All you need to do is adjust the rate limit, right? You can make it as fast as you want. It, you get to create your own tick acceleration within the block. You just say, I want it to run at this heat and it will burn at that rate and that'll be cool for now wrapping up point del twice sign off hope you enjoyed the episode take it easy